Hey, what's up, Femi? <clears throat> what's up, Chrissy? What is up with y'all? All right, we're going to do the next seven days real quick. Okay, I got some other stuff I have to do. Get some of these candles popping. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to take a lot of time right now. So let's see what's going on for the next seven days. What's your overall energy for the next seven days? What's up, Leslie? What's up, Trina? What's going on for the next seven days? The next seven days. All right, we got Pluto. Okay, an 11th house. Transform. So y'all, some of y'all social media is going to be popping. So if you're somebody who cares about that in life, um, I see a lot of growth on social media this week. So maybe this is going to be a really good week for gaining followers or support online. Okay, so if you've been thinking about starting a YouTube or starting something on social media, this will also be a good week to do that. All right, so um, some of you could be deleting social media though. So I don't know if that's going to be for some of you out there, but some of you could feel like you need to delete social media. I don't think that's the case, but hey, crazier things have happened, right? People be deleting shit all the time. It ain't my business. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you need to delete some shit, then you need to delete some shit. All right, so let's see what's going on for the next seven days. What's going on for the next seven days? The next seven days after they watch this. Make sure you guys comment on this video, please. I'm not trying to have to go on another Instagram strike. So please comment because I'll be getting hella likes. So if y'all can like it, just leave a little bit of a comment, you know, an emoji, something, you know, it really helps. Okay. So we have a tower coming off straight off the bat. What's up, Tony? Which makes sense because Pluto came out and that's all the same kind of tower Pluto. So big changes. And look, the star card, which is the 11th house because the 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. Okay, Venus up in here showed. I never get this Venus card in this deck. Like, I rarely ever get this card. I rarely get this card. Give and receive love. Find value and see beauty. So, yeah, it looks like a really good month for getting, a really good week for getting things. All right. Why y'all got all these major arcanas coming out? We have the Tower, the Star, and the Emperor. Okay. What's going on for y'all the next seven days? The Fool, okay, like four though, all right. The Four of Pentacles, we keep getting that. We got that last week, I believe, which that came true. I said someone was gonna ask for money. That happened to me. I don't know about y'all. All right, and then, okay. So let's see. All right, let's make sure I have my seven cards out here. So uh, tomorrow with this tower, we definitely got to clarify that. So something big is going to happen the next day after you watch this. Let's see what this tower is about. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like a really good money opportunity is coming towards you all. For some of you, this is going to be someone who's paying you back because um, somebody's going to be paying you back because you helped them out. Some of y'all have people asking y'all for money, I see. Um... So maybe y'all gave someone money in the past and they're going to be paying you back and this helps you significantly. Or it's because you've been helping others that the universe sees fits to give you an opportunity um, that you deserve because you are so helpful to other people. So I feel like tomorrow the uh, this Ace of Pentacles is applying to you guys. There's going to be something here where you feel like your finances are increased. Sorry, guys, my ice thing is going on again. I don't know what it is. It's so quiet in here. But as soon as I start doing readings, the motherfucking ice thing starts going off. But anyway, yeah, so finances look good. There's an opportunity that's coming in because you've been so helpful to others or someone's finally paying you back for something, okay? So it doesn't look like a bad tower. It actually looks like something unexpected. Maybe you're going to get assistance. So some of you might be looking to get some sort of financial assistance alone. That looks like it's coming through. All right, let's see. What's going on with this star? All right, the next day after that, 
star. Okay. You gonna, you gonna do something here? Yeah. Something you, you're working on, a skill that you've been harboring, working on, getting better at. This is all, I feel like this might be all connected, but this is talking about good news with finances. So the next two days, your finances are going to increase in some way. Some of you might get accepted into a program of study, or you might decide to sign up for a course or a class, and this is going to be very ben beneficial for you. Okay, but this also could be a job opportunity or someone wants to collab with you online. Okay, so make sure you're checking your emails, make sure you're checking your comments for opportunities coming in. Okay. Um, but yeah, this could even be through friends. Like if a friend mentions, hey, you should sign up for that or hey, you should apply for that. It looks good because the 11th house is the house of friendship as well. Okay. So we got this emperor right smack in the dab of your reading. So we can't ignore his ass. Okay. So there is an emperor showing up. Some of you, this could be the person off offering you the opportunity um, the third day after this, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this, some of y'all, this is your future husband, though. Let's go ahead and call it what it is. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that you're already going to be committed to. This is not going to be for everyone, okay? So I don't care if it don't resonate for you. You ain't got to let me know. I don't care. It's not my business, okay? For some of y'all, there is somebody in your life, though. It's heavy earth. This person could be an earth sign or a fire sign, Um maybe a Scorpio. Okay. Uh, now and I'm not saying like when you, when I say somebody's like a long-term partner, you could wind up having a child with this person and not being with them. You can wind up getting married to them and not being with them forever. It happens. I've done all of the above. Okay. I got children. I got divorce papers. I got exes. I got baby daddies. I got all of that. Okay. It can happen for you in life. All right. So don't say never. Okay. But either way, there is somebody in your reading coming up in the middle of the reading. I don't know what the hell is that. It's always this Leo, Lord. I don't know who it is, but somebody's future baby daddy or somebody's future ex-husband. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Somebody going to be telling you something, though. I don't know, like somebody who maybe hasn't been talking to you for a while or they've been emotionally unavailable or something, like they've been a little distant. I feel like that they're going to be communicating with you for some of you. If not, it'll be a week from the third day. So if this is Wednesday, maybe next Wednesday, somebody's finally going to be talking to you about something. I feel like someone has a plan too. This person could be talking about a plan that they want to implement in your life. Yeah, I'm telling you, it could be about a marriage if this person's single. And for others of you, they could be telling you that they are getting a divorce from someone. Um, I don't think they divorce in your ass. I don't think that's the case. The Knight of Pentacles wouldn't insinuate that. But maybe some of you guys are getting a divorce from somebody who's been slowing you down financially. That's possible as well. Maybe they could be finally agreeing to the divorce because the emperor could be someone who's deciding that they're going to make your life a living hell and not agree to a divorce. Any of those things could be happening. Okay, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is somebody that you could wind up being married to in the long run. All right, they, are, could, they could be professing some sort of feelings or plan that they have. Uh, yeah, this person is shook of you, the Eight of Swords. They've been a little afraid to... Uh, tell you how they feel this whole time and it's been in their mind they've been distant and not talking to you is because they've been like thinking about this co connection over and over again okay so the fool card is coming in what is this about the fourth day what is this about the knight of cups y'all are taking some sort of opportunity um what the hell Yeah, something that was blocked for you before is opened up. Like, I'm seeing an opportunity here. The Knight of Cups can always be an increase in finances for me, but this feels like it could be love-related. Some of y'all might be unblocking somebody, or somebody could be unblocking you, okay? Scorpio again, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, or an Aries. But something that was blocked before is not is, is open to you now. It's coming to you now, so... Yeah, this it feels like it could be somebody y'all had blocked or there was blockages between you and this person. Communication blockages weren't on the same page. It feels like something is improving for you and it feels like it's love related with the Knight of Cups. Could be finances though, again. So if you've been trying to, yeah, you're, someone might be getting help with an addiction too. I don't know if that's going to apply to everybody, but somebody could be getting help with an addiction that they had. Uh, if you're looking for an opportunity to get promoted or to get a better job, you could apply for that as well. Apply for it um, on Thursday or the fourth day that you watch this, whatever. I don't really care. All right. The Four of Pentacles. What's this here for? What's this here for? The fifth day. What is this? Ooh, Five of Wands. Okay. So 
the fifth day, which is probably the weekend for a lot of you, um, whatever you're watching this, but there's going to be a lot of people who want something from you. Um, this is tough. I don't know why I just heard doing the least, but getting the most out of it. So maybe for some of you, this could be just as general as a lot of your friends wanting you to hang out with them. Like many people wanting to have plans with you, but you're not able to like give everyone your a hundred percent. So you're giving like, okay, if somebody wants to do, Hey, let's go do, let's go work out in the morning. And then another friend wants to do, you know, maybe want to go out. So we'll do lunch with them. Or it's kind of like not giving everybody, um, it's kind of like not giving everybody your like your time, your space, your energy, like conserving yourself. I, found you, I don't care really. Yeah, me and Tyler are long lost cousins somewhere down the line. That's my cousin in my, um, in my head. So yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of people want stuff from you. This could even be clients. So don't let your clients like run you thin. Don't overbook yourself, okay? Um, if you're dating, this could be multiple people wanting to go out on dates with you, but you know, you're making it easy for yourself in some way. Um, if people are like asking you for money or want something from you, you may give some, you're giving, but you're not giving all that you have. This is, I, I was getting that from last week's reading, the last couple of readings, I've been getting something about you guys not giving as much as you normally do, which is a good thing. Cause I feel like if you were giving out so much right now, you would be depleted. Okay. Even if somebody wants to argue, the five of wands can definitely talk about arguments, love or spats. This is Mercury retrograde all over it. Um, you could be like deciding not to entertain it or just, you know, not even really giving to the, the situation, whatever it is. But I feel like you're going to be really busy this weekend, but it's not you're not tiring yourself out. You're like conserving your energy um, in a positive way. OK, um, and if someone does happen to ask you for money or you have to give some money, it's like you're giving less than what you have. You're not giving all of it away. You're learning to how to conserve your energy and your time and your money. All right. So let's see what the sixth day is. The three of wands, heavy manifestation energy. This looks like good, good news. So you might be hearing good news. I'm telling you this ace of pentacles, something you've been sitting around working on. You've been working on this by yourself. You've been, you know, uh, fasting. You've been staying in. Okay, good work opportunity. So some of you guys might stay in this weekend again and work, especially if it's school related, could be working on papers, essays and shit, um, business. You're staying, we got that last weekend too. So you're gonna be working. Friday, it's like maybe Friday you go out, Saturday you're gonna spend Saturday working on something. It's a creative project and it's gonna bring a lot of money for you, especially within the next year. This is gonna be something you're gonna eat off between now and 2022. And then to drive that point home, we got the Queen of Pentacles fish finishing up the reading. So yeah, Shh. Ten of Pentacles, bitch better have my money. What? Y'all know how I feel about that shit, okay? Please don't call me on my bluff. Pay me what you owe me. She said balling bigger than LeBron, bitch, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Y'all securing finances, all right? Learning about real estate, some of you. So you're tapping into your gifts heavily, all right? Really big business energy or investments. If you're not someone who's really into business, you could be learning about investments. You're investing in something right now that's gonna really bring you in good income for the next year. Like a lot of y'all, 2022 is gonna be a really good year for y'all financially and I feel like for long-term relationships. Like I really feel like that because it's the 222 energy, it's a lot of balance, okay? so. Um, you guys look like you're 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 changing your life up. You're learning how to give less and receive more, okay, which is not always a bad thing. And you're pouring that back into yourself. So I'm really proud of you guys. It feels like y'all actually listen to me, you know, sometimes. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot more people have been listening to me because I've been kirking out on people less. Like I've been sh I've been noticing that as the years go on, uh, people have been getting on my nerves a little bit less. I think people are starting to understand me and my crazy and not triggering me as much. But I also feel like people are actually listening to what the fuck I say because, you know, I do be meaning y'all well. I know y'all know I do. I really want what's best for y'all. I really have no other ulterior motive other than y'all just need to be good in life. Okay. Y'all good in life. I'm good in life. Everybody's good in life. Right. Okay. Great. So about to get off here i'm gonna post this on my other page i just posted a pick a card so y'all got some love stuff too but make sure y'all comment on both all right and i will see y'all tomorrow for money monday all right bye